everybody, before I start this review, I'd like to say that for the foreseeable future, I am not doing any more playthroughs. I'm sure some of you saw the Sleeping Dog playthroughs I did, and it just was annoying. Uh, too much rendering, too much uploading, and it didn't really feel I was doing anything productive, just kind of like copy and pasting. So I'm just going to go back to what I normally do. I wanted to see what it would be like to do what all the other kind of people are doing, but I didn't like it that much. So I'm just going to go back to doing, you know, commentaries, first impressions, uh, the r typical random funny vid, or just something I find interesting in the game. So you guys don't have to worry about that anymore. I'm done with playthroughs. On to Sleeping Dogs review. The very best thing about Sleeping Dogs is its voice acting. And now, when you hear something like that being said, normally the game sucks ass. However, that is not the case. Sleeping Dogs has good things going for it, with its voice acting being the best, but there are still a few issues that need to be ironed out. As I said, the voice acting is really, really good. I mean, it was so believable, tied in with the intriguing, gritty t crime story that you really got lost in this underworld of crime, corruption, and so on and so on with all this stuff. And it was probably, probably the best cinematic experience that has come out this year so far. Uh, just the voice acting was that good. And the crime story actually is realistic. It's not blown out of proportions. Things happen for a reason, and that actually comes off pretty good. The last two pros, loading screens are actually pretty quick. They're hardly even there. They just come on for two seconds and go away. And the graphics are above average for an open world game. They're not great, but they are above average. Now to the cons. Replayability is not all there because... It kind of gets repetitive with the gameplay. I mean, once you beat the story, you can go trophy hunting, you can go for all this, but it doesn't really change much. I mean, only the story missions have different, you know, events, different dynamic sequences. Uh, and the gameplay can be fun, but it just it gets repetitive, and only the story adds something new. So once you're done, it's really like you're doing the same things over again. So only, like, trophy wars will probably continue playing from that point. Lastly... As I mentioned before, the story was really gritty, really realistic, and actually enveloped you into the situation that was going on. And it really made you feel, even for the criminals and for the good people as well. Now, this is where I disliked Sleeping Dogs a little bit. Throughout the entire game, it made it seem like there was going to be this morality choice at the end, where you had to either choose to be like the criminal with the sun on E, or you're going to have to be the policeman that you are, and you're going to have to go and arrest all these people. However, all this build-up led to nothing. I mean, you made no choice, you made no inquiry <laughs> into any side of the field. It's just a, a not linear, as in physically linear, but the story was linear compared to what it was uh, propping you up to be. I mean, so many times people are like, oh, you're going to have to choose between being a cop and being this, or you better not be a cop or we'll kill you, or just remember who you are, blah, 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 blah. And it built this whole thing up, like you're going to choose to be a bad guy or a good guy, but that ended up never happening, and that really disappointed me. So Sleeping Dogs is a good game. If you're looking for a gritty summer open world fix, I'd definitely say buy it, no questions asked. However, if you're not into RPGs that much, or you're just looking for something to pass the time until the fall gets here, I'd probably say rent it. 